I don't need to tell you as developers, polling is not great for every kind of application. Polling can be difficult for the servers, especially if the events don't occur too often and in a predictable manner, like you see here. So for portal events, if you're interested in listening to them, we have a new mechanism by which you can go about and register for what events you're wanting to look out for, and then you get a callback when that event occurs. Your callback can get into any webhook URL. It could be Microsoft Flow, as an example, or IFTT and many other techniques like that, technologies, where you can have a WYSIWYG experience in trying to build out what the workflow should be, how it should react. Or it can be powerful as developers. You can build lambdas that react to something like this. And then you can either call back into the portal and find out what really happened in detail, or you can call into external systems and build something larger. To show us the power of webhooks, I'd like to introduce Indu and David. Take it away. Thanks, Jay. As an ArcGIS Enterprise Administrator, I love dashboards because they give me an overall insight of my portal. In this example, I'm using Power BI to visualize the key metrics of my portal. Today, I'm going to show you how to build such applications using webhooks without any coding. Webhooks send notifications when items, users, or groups get updated. As an admin, I've read the doc and registered a webhook that is listening to all events on my portal. In order to act on these notifications, we need webhook receivers. A receiver is any application that receives an HTTP request. You can either build your own or use one of the many online services like Zapier, IFTTT, or Microsoft Flow. Microsoft Flow is an online service that has a variety of actions and connectors to build useful workflows. I have authored one such workflow, which is powering my dashboard. This is the entry point to my workflow. This represents an action that gets triggered when webhook notifications are received. As you can see, I have already configured a Power BI connector to parse and store webhook payload into the Power BI uh, database. It's quite simple to add another action just by clicking on the Add button, selecting the appropriate connector, and configuring it. For example, if we want to send email when we receive webhook notifications, all we have to do is select the Outlook connector and configure it. Let's go back to the dashboard for a minute. As you can see, the numbers on the dashboard are getting updated when items, users, or groups get updated. Remember the Microsoft Outlook connector that we configured? I should have received multiple email notifications because of that. I'm able to get this level of insight just by using webhooks and Microsoft Flow without any coding. But with a little bit of coding, the true power of webhooks can be unlocked. And here's David to talk more about it. Thanks, Indu. As GIS administrators, it is a constant struggle to enforce metadata standards on portal items. Look at this web map made by a GIS analyst in a rush. There is no thumbnail, no description, and only one tag. Esri provides the item information metric, and as you can see, this item is rated at low. Items like this are made all the time in Portal and often go unnoticed. We can fix this problem by implementing an automated curator bot using ArcGIS Enterprise webhooks. My webhook is set up to run custom Python code on AWS Lambda. This Python code uses the ArcGIS API for Python to connect to our portal and look up the item that triggered the webhook. Through code, I am able to inspect this item's metadata as well as the metadata of each of the item's operational layers. The code can then make an intelligent decision to fill in the missing metadata and update the original item. Since I am writing this code and controlling where it is run, the sky is the limit for what type of behavior we can implement. Maybe I want to look up other information associated with the item. Maybe I want to use Python to connect to an external service. As I said, 
this Python code is running on AWS Lambda immediately whenever a portal item is updated. AWS Lambda is a serverless computation engine that allows you to run user-defined code on demand without any of the overhead of a traditional server. You just have to focus on the code you're writing. I am going to upload that code that I just showed you and press Deploy. And just like that, my endpoint that my webhook will hit is ready to run. Remember this web map that was lacking metadata? Let's simulate a GIS analyst's workflow of updating this web map. Let's say they add a new layer and press Save. Immediately when Save is pressed, my webhook is triggered and AWS Lambda is evoked. My Python code is running right now that is looking through all operational layers on the item and is attempting to fill in the missing metadata. And as you can see, my thumbnail was automatically updated and about five new tags were added to the item. This item information metric is higher from when you last saw it. I have also received an email from my curator bot letting me know of what changes were automatically made, the tags in the thumbnail were updated, as well as what changes I can manually make to get a higher metadata score, like adding a new description or a snippet. When you integrate custom code with ArcGIS Enterprise webhooks, the sky is the limit for what type of problems you can solve.